Now, I bring up uh, WWF Challenge from 1986 because it brings me to this next story, believe it or not. Is it awesome? How will I tie it in? Well, you'll see. All right. Tony Khan is not stepping inside a wrestling ring anytime soon. Not a good start. Khan rejected the idea of wrestling a match following his on-camera angle last month with the Elite. The Young Bucks uh, will be running AEW themselves on the road in storyline. He said, AEW is where the best wrestle, and we mean that. In this case, I'm not the best person to pay those people back. There's a lot of things I'm good at behind the scenes, but somebody else is going to have to avenge what those guys did, not only to me, but to Kenny Omega. I'm quite sure there are some capable wrestlers, uh, more capable wrestlers than I am. Most of them. <laughs> and then I can inflict some kind of punishment on the Young Bucks, Jack Perry, and Okada, the Elite. After what happened to me last time, I don't think I'd be making a smart move trying that, he added. And uh, I bring this up because I just watched that uh, WWF Challenge where uh, we saw the final match, the retirement. Literally for a long time. He actually eventually did come back. But the retirement of Captain Lou Albano, which was the most bizarre thing. Like, I will talk about the retirement of Lou Albano very quickly after the break if you guys haven't been listening to the Brian Vinny show. But it was the wackiest thing I've ever seen. So we'll talk about that after the break. Saudi Arabia NXT. And then Rocky Romero's coming on. Back in a moment, Observer Live. So these uh, WWE challenge shows, WWF Challenge from 86... We're on episode 11 right now. And, you know, the first uh, first half dozen episodes just, you know, matches, nostalgia, squash matches, you know, wrestlers rebuttal, snake pit, just whatever, you know. And then all of a sudden, like two weeks ago, just randomly, totally randomly in the middle of the show, last week actually, uh, Bobby Heenan goes, I got a scoop for y'all. Captain Lou Albano is going to come on here later on, and he's going to tell you he's retiring, he's leaving the business. And Gorilla Monsoon, the babyface commentator, is like, what are you talking about? You're such a gimmick, blah, blah, blah. And so you know, they go to commercial, and they come back, and they come back, and Gorilla's totally changed his tune. He goes, looks like we're about to hear from Captain Lou Albano, who uh, appears to be leaving the wrestling business. And they go to Captain Lou... And just like out of nowhere, Captain Lou goes, next week, we're going to have a six-man, and I'm done. I'm retiring. I'm retiring as a wrestler and a manager, and I'm going to hand over my duties to Matilda. And they just cut away. And I, went, I went, what? What? That's the way you extinguish the guiding light? What is going on? Like... This is Lou Albano, you know, a year after the Rock and Wrestling Connection. Huge, gigantic star. And they're like, he's just going to, you know, like retire next week. <laughs> okay. What's what's the gimmick? So uh, it's no gimmick. The next week, they just did a six-man, and uh, and he lost, and he was gone. He didn't come back for like six years. He came back as like a manager or whatever, and then disappeared again. That was it. That was the end of his career. Yeah. That was the craziest end to a career I've ever seen. And the point is, they do this match, and uh, he's teaming with the uh, the Bulldogs. And uh, he's facing, uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. But the point is, uh, they they everyone else does all the work. He stands on the apron the entire time. Bulldogs hit the big move. It was uh, it was Beefcake and uh, it was the Valentine. Beefer. Beefer and Valentine. <laughs> the dream game. Yeah, and he, he just, uh, you know, they tag him in. He goes and he gets a pin. That's it. He doesn't do any, he doesn't take a bump. He doesn't sell. He doesn't do anything. He just goes in there, covers, and gets the win. And then he celebrates, and then they go backstage, and they, you know, shoot alcohol over him, try and drown him. You and, love that. And that's it. That was the end. Well, wait, wait, he... the point is, like, if, if we found out tomorrow, if we found out tomorrow, if suddenly word broke out that, uh, you know, uh, WBD hired Jamie Kellner, and he's like, <laughs> it's over. I'm canceling AEW. It's done. And, like, the company was just, like, going out of business. Well... That should be the main event of the final show. It should be Tony Khan, Kenny Omega, and uh, some other babyface against uh, you know Jack Perry and the Young Bucks and and uh, Hangman Kenny Omega do all the work. 
They beat up those young bucks. They hit the V trigger and the buckshot. Tag in Tony. He covers, gets the pin. Everybody celebrates. They spray liquor, and the thing's over. It's done. That would be a fitting ending. But if they don't do that, he should never wrestle. <laughs> Bad idea. As long as he doesn't start blading himself like Lou, everything will be okay. Uh, you know, it's amazing. Lou was going to have a job for the rest of his life. Like Gorilla Monsoon and Arnold Skoland and Phil Zacco and those guys. When Vince bought the company from his father, Captain Lou was going to be one of those guys. And apparently from all of the stories, Captain Lou would get fired every couple of weeks. And Bruno would, like, you know, because Lou would do something drunk and piss people off, piss off Vince McMahon Sr., some other people, and then he'd always come back into the fold again, but he left. And, look, one of the reasons I think it was so unceremonious was the fact that Lou had a lot of outside activities that he did. Not only did he work with Cindy Lauper when he came to rock and wrestling, but there was the whole multiple sclerosis connection that he continued to advocate for for the rest of his career. He ended up doing the Super Mario Brothers TV show and a whole bunch of other things after that. Yes. So I'm sure a lot of that played into it. So I want to mention a couple of things about uh, NXT. As everyone is well aware, if you want the full report, you have to go to... Uh... The Brian and Vinny show on Thursday night. Oh, man, are there going to be graphs and charts and breakdowns? No, the... but I got two things oh. I got to talk about. So, you know, we talked about that worked combine. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you know, they didn't do the combine live. What they said was, the combine was this weekend. Here's clips. And the so action's... they showed just select clips. So you couldn't, you couldn't really compare anybody no. to anybody else. And so it was very easy to work it, basically. That's not true. Thea Hale makes the funniest faces out of everybody. She does, in she NXT. does. But you know, they 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 showed three different clips: people pushing the sled, people throwing the ball, Silly. and you know, they're explaining that you know, surprisingly, they they claim that they had this gimmick where it's like a rotational drill where you you violently rotate with a punch or something like that. And they said, uh, <laughs> it's like standing. On surprisingly, Mi Chin uh, came in first. Hence why she is part of the OC on SmackDown or something like that. You going to question her punch? Yes! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Brian, you sound like the guy I'm talking about on this match tonight. Yeah. Miz. Oh, stop! Oh. <laughs> his, his, Huge pop. Granted, you know Miz is Brian's favorite wrestler? <laughs> Braggers Nights. What? Start over. Start over. Braggers, Braggers Nights? Nights? After a few brags by Miz. A few match. brags? <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. The match started with body hugged tugs. <laughs> body <Come> tugs? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wow! That, what show is this? <laughs> that That's where you put your arm around the middle and oh, tag. Okay. Trying to tag a, him around. A tug? You reach around from behind. <laughs> a tug? Brian, stop. Okay. Miz jumps out of the ring to slow down his uh, hurting. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to tear this apart, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> oh, please, please keep reading it. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.